really can't wait to get all of those brand new Jazzware toys. Huh? Wait, there can't possibly be more. Oh my god, there's even more! <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome everybody to another reveal video for Jazzware Toys. You thought we'd got enough this year? A brand new wave of Jazzware 3 and 3 quarter World of Halo toys and a brand new wave of the Spartan Collection 6 and a half inch figures. But now we've got even more in the shape of a gun goose, a shade turret, a new scout Spartan, a brutey boy. You know, we've got all sorts of stuff to unpack today. So let's break it down one by one. Warning, these pictures are very pixelated. But we're gonna do the best with what we've got. Let's check them out. So previously on The Domain, we unpacked the World of Halo three and three quarter inch scale figures, and they are absolutely gorgeous. We've had a couple of waves already, and the new wave includes a new EOD Spartan in yellow, Master Chief with supposedly working grapple shot. We got a Jackal Freebooter, an Elite Miner, and our Brutey Boy Hyperius, which we've had in Mega Constructs form for ages, but now it's finally in Jazzware scale. And a brand new Spartan, which this image is so pixelated, I cannot even read it, but we've got a weird kind of looking Spartan. It's almost like EOD as well It also kind of looks like the new trailblazer we've had in mega constructs But I'm not exactly sure what it is and we got all of those last time and now we've got even more in the three and three quarter inch scale We've got two versus villains packs and two vehicle packs Let's start with the versus villains. We've got a monkey, monkey in the house, Tovarus, Tovarus, Tovarus. Yeah, this guy was revealed on a Halo Waypoint blog, Peak Design, a little while ago, and uh, he looked a little less than menacing on those pictures. But here he is with the Scrap Cannon. Now, we've seen the Scrap Cannon a lot. It's clearly going to be the new Banished Plasma Cannon. I hope the Plasma Cannon is also in the game. But it seems like every time a new faction is introduced, 343 likes to add a new kind of turret. So, so I'm all about this scrap cannon and maybe it will be his primary weapon in the game. Who knows? I would love this guy to just be storming around with this scrap cannon. It looks pretty fantastic from, again, the low images, but I like his helmet. I like his style. I like his cut. I like your cut, G. This is on the box, so I imagine it's a pretty finalized design. Tovaris is facing off against, yes, another Master Chief. Guys. I see the comments. Y'all hate it. You can't hate on Master Chiefs. This is Halo Infinite. We need a Master Chief in every wave, especially when the game gets delayed by so long. Jazzware is doing the same as Mega Constructs, where they just reveal a ton of Master Chiefs. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm just, I'm okay with it. You know, if you don't want all those Master Chiefs, buy the pack and then sell the Master Chief from that pack, particularly to a guy who can't get it in his country locally. I know there are tons of countries out there, especially loads of European countries that can't get Jazzwares to begin with. Just go and advertise on halocollector.com. Hey, I got this Master Chief, who needs it? I can hook a brother up. And then we've got another versus pack, this Jackal Freebooter versus Marine. Totally fine with this. Totally cool with the army building aspect. And this Marine looks pretty badass. The Jackal, also badass. I don't mind at all that they're using two Jackals in the set. They need to save production costs somewhere along the line. So I'm happy with a, just a Marine versus a Jackal. There's nothing new there. It's not breaking any ground, but it is fantastic for army building. So I'll be sure to pick it up. You may see that Jazzware has eluded my channel a little bit. I've been living in Hong Kong and Jazzware is quite expensive to ship here and everything else. So I haven't really done much about it but I am going to be hitting Jazzware hard when I go to America later this year. On to the figure and vehicle packs. These are pretty exceptional to be fair. We have a scout to begin with, with a gun goose. Now gun goose, I never used it that much in Halo games, but I always thought it was a fun addition. I'm never mad that it's in the game. I always like to see with these toys, you know, there's definitely like the Spartan collection of Jazzware that is like all across the line, all different Halo games. But the World of Halo scale, I definitely believe that everything in here will be in the game. So I think it's pretty much confirmed that there will be a Gun Goose in the game. Mega Construct, they'll put old weapons in their sets when it might not necessarily be an infinite, but I definitely think that this is all gonna be in the game. And this Gun Goose comes with a particularly strange Spartan called the Spartan Selox or Selox or Kellox. <laughs> 
Kellogg's. The Kellogg Spartan. It's got a really nice chest. I love that ammunition pack type thing. It is just a Halo 4, Halo 5 Guardian Scout. So I think what they're clearly doing is re-releasing all of the old legacy Spartans, but calling them different names. Like Halo Infinite inspired. This is a Selox, but I mean, it's quite clearly a Spartan Scout. I think it's a shame when they get rid of these legacy names. I just, I've grown up with Scout. I'd rather just call it a Scout. Why do I have to start calling it a Selox? But Selox is such a strange name too. I would much prefer it to be an actual character. If it actually turns out to be a Spartan in the game, Spartan Stone or Spartan Griffin, I'd be much happier with that. It's worth noting that the Spartan Trailblazer bears very strong resemblance to Spartan Recon. So perhaps there is just a big trade of names here. I don't like it particularly. I would much rather just stick with my names. I'm happy with what I've got, but I'm not gonna complain about it at the end of the day. Our second vehicle is a very exciting one indeed, this shade turret. This beautiful shade turret with a grunt assault. This looks fantastic. These shade turrets, both in Mega Constructs form and Jazzware, just look right on the money right on the money. They are awesome. It's got very nice translucent side panels and a base to it. It looks like it's always belonged in Halo, always belonged in Mega Constructs, so I'm very happy with this one. Comes with a grunt, which yeah, that's the standard one to be firing those kind of shade turrets, so I don't mind about that. And it does seem like Mega Constructs and Jazzware have both been asked at different points to produce assets similar to those in-game. Like, both are releasing a shade turret at the same time. Both are releasing a Hyperius at the same time. There's a lot of synergy there. I'm just hoping we can get a working grapple shot on our Mega Constructs figure. That would be... <laughs> How big would that grapple shot have to be to store all that wire inside? Goodness me. But yeah, this is pretty exciting, guys. I'm uh, really happy with everything that's being revealed for Jazzware. They seem to be taking a strong foothold on the Halo collecting community, you know? Everybody, especially my boy Kevin Hurd from Halo Collector, has been so hyped about the three and three quarter inch line. I've been absolutely delighted covering it recently, and the response to those videos has been absolutely outstanding, so clearly you guys are excited for these sets too. Let me know in the comments down below, friends, which one are you going to pick up? Are you a Spartan collection or a World of Halo kind of guy? Six and a half inch versus three and three quarter. Are you going to get any vehicles or big sets to complement your figures? Are you going to army build the heck out of that Marine and Jackal? This was another domain reveal video. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed what you see and sorry for the leave of absence. I took a little step out of the community for a few days after I did a 12 hour, it actually turned out to be 13 hour live stream where I watched the Discover Hope trailer ahead of E3 2021 one, one, seven times, and it was brutal. But you guys stuck with me. Shout out to a load of people like Official Recon and Amasis for just sticking with me throughout the whole video. I'm going to be doing a big Xbox live stream where you can watch through the big reveal of Halo Infinite live on the domain, so stay tuned for that. Probably there'll be more Jazzware reveals. I'm really pitching for a Pelican or a Phantom, so see you then for a Pelican reveal potentially in the future. <laughs> Signing off. Beautiful monkey boys.